Hello friends, welcome to our exam B. I am Arunima, ex manager CP. And in today's session, we are going to see the format of business letters. As you know that out of 50 marks of descriptive English, you will have to write one letter. And already in the notification, it is written that it is going to be a business letter. That means no informal letters. It is going to be a business letter and you have to write, write one letter which will be of 10 marks. Okay, so if you are able to follow the correct format, then actually four to five marks definitely you are going to get. So that way format is really, really important. Also, you have to take care that uh, what will be your opening lines, what will be your closing lines. If uh, you are able to take care of all these things, uh, uh, you are going to definitely uh, get good marks in your letter. Okay, so all, the, all that we are going to see in this session. So let us start. In this short session, we are going to see types of letters that can be asked in your examination. It can be complaint letter, it can be order letter, it can be a request letter. So what all you can expect so that accordingly you can prepare. Second, most important is format. What should be the format? And you must stick to the format. And also we'll see that in last two years, uh, what questions, what letter questions they asked actual in, uh, in the actual exam. Types of letters. So first, letters of complaint. So in last two years, we have seen that they have asked letters of complaints were there. So these are important. Here complaints might be like, suppose you have received some goods, you have ordered some goods and you have received, but it is defective. Or something you have ordered, but you are yet to receive different kinds of complaints or maybe you have visited a bank branch and somebody has behaved very rudely. So you, you want to complain about that person's behavior. It can be anything. So format and opening and closing line would be, uh, would be similar. So we'll see how it is to be. And then it can be letters of request where you are requesting uh, something. Suppose you have lost your ATM card and you have to request the bank to block it okay might be that you have been transferred to a different city and now uh, you want to change your address uh, in their uh, in the bank's record something like that or you have changed your mobile number and you want to change the mobile number in uh, in the uh, that organizations or companies or banks records so something like that uh, letters of request then letters of inquiry and inquiry. So you can see here I is there and here E is there. So there is not much difference, but I, when it is inquiry, here it is like more investigative in nature. Okay, you are investigative, uh, uh, investigating about something and where it is, where it is E, inquiry, here you are simply asking about something. So here it would be like what, it is but here it is like how when so this is the basic difference but you need not go into the details of the difference you just you will just get a letter and you have to write the letter you will get the question then order letter suppose you want to order printer for your office printers for your office or for your home so uh, in that case you are ordering then adjustment letters it can be like you are on the other side of the table. Suppose you are a banker. They will say in the question that you are a banker. You are a manager of some bank. And then somebody has complained. And now you have to respond to those complaint letters. Those letters are known as adjustment letters where you are responding to complaint letters. Right? A complaint can be of a, anything. Then congratulatory or appreciative letter. Suppose something uh, something you want to appreciate about to, uh, any government organization or any organization organization or bank or um, should be or any any organization it can be then it would be congratulatory or appreciative if you want to congratulate then it would be congratulatory otherwise if you want to appreciate then appreciative then cover letter or thank you letter cover letter is also very important suppose uh, you are supplying something, then you need to write a cover letter with that. Or if you want to thank you, but, uh, then it would be a thank you letter. Some other letters can also be there like resignation letters or some miscellaneous letters can be like 
uh, see uh, something not very good is happening in your society and you want to uh, draw the attention of the newspaper editor so that he can write uh, about it in the newspaper then you can write to the newspaper editor also so these types of letters can also be there but once you uh, understand that what format you need to follow and how it is going to be what how should be your opening lines and what should be in the body and then what how you are going to conclude it then it is going to be really easy for you to write a letter write a good letter first it will start with the address of the sender so in any letter two parties are involved sender and the receiver so when you are writing the letter you are the sender right so you have to write your address but not the correct address you can write abc colony because here you are writing the address abc colony delhi right suppose you are writing in the capacity of a manager of a bank then you can write state bank of india or any bank's name and india abc branch something like that okay then leave one line space here after the address and it should be short address it should not be that Uh, you write a very long address it should be in two 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 rows it should be covered then leave one space and uh, one line space and then write the date date should be like you can write suppose january today is 7th january 7th 2023 something like this or you can also write 7120 2 okay after that address of the addressee to whom you are writing the letter so that for that you write to and then address of the addressee here no where you have to put the comma comma should not be there then you write the subject what is the subject and here also leave one line space here also one line space if uh, in the examination hall you find that you are not allowed to leave the space then it's fine but if you are allowed this uh, space you should keep then write the subject suppose you want to change the change your residential address in the same city you have uh, shifted to a new house or you have been transferred to some other city then subject you can write change of my re residential address in your records right so that is going to be your subject after that salutation so there you can write dear sir dear ma'am okay so that is salutation so after this now come to the body of the letter where actually you are going to write what you want to say there after salutation body of the letter so first paragraph would be first paragraph would be here introduce yourself if communication is for the first time suppose you are writing it for the first time there is no reference earlier reference then you will introduce yourself you will suppose you have lost your atm card then you will start with ki sir respected sir or dear sir i hold a savings accounts with your bank savings account number should also be there and then recently i have lost my atm card then you will because this communication is for the first time but suppose you have received some something you ordered and you have received and it is not in a good condition it is like very um, poor, uh, of very poor quality then you will start please refer to the invoice number or letter uh, number or dated through which uh, you have received those items some number must be there some uh, invoice number or some reference number would be there so you can start with please refer to your letter number uh, dated or invoice number dated and then you tell that what is the problem okay so these are two ways when you are for the first time communicating and or you are like responding or not even responding you have received something and you are uh, complaining then in the very first paragraph you have to indicate the reason or purpose the, of the letter why you are writing the letter what is the problem you are facing or anything anything you want to suggest it is not always like problem sometimes it is it may be like a suggestion kind of thing where you want them to improve upon something then in the second paragraph you need to elaborate the issue so you have to give more information suppose you have received some faulty uh, product 
okay so in the first paragraph you have indicated the purpose of the letter in the second paragraph you need to tell them that what actually is the fault why you are finding that it is it may be like it is not working or it is broken something so you need to elaborate the issue and in the third paragraph while concluding the letter you need to tell what actually do you want okay so you you may request for the refund or you may request for replacement so whatever you want you can conclude you can write in the third paragraph while concluding the letter and then after that if you are like attaching some enclosures then enclosures uh, what enclosures you are attaching there with that also you can write and then yours faithfully or sincerely either faithfully or sincerely and then name of the sender okay so this is going to be the complete letter i would suggest that it is going to be 10 marks out of 50 marks of your descriptive english practice a little bit when you sit in the um, description box you will get the link of the pdf of some sample letters there also you will get so i will try to give uh, like one complaint letter one response letter uh, one suggestions letter something of that different kinds of letters uh so that you can get an idea that for which type of letter how it should be but for sure you need to uh stick to the format and also try to write in small simple sentences because if you write in very uh, long sentences then uh, chances of making mistakes grammatical mistakes uh, increase so that you should avoid also it is going to be in 150 words so uh, you must respect uh, the word limit also so if it is like you have to write in 150 words you have to write in 150 words uh, you can exceed plus minus 5 but you should try to be as close as 150 if it is like in instruction it is written in about 150 words then you have some margin to go uh, up to plus 10 plus minus but my suggestion would be that try to be as close as 150 in both the cases so i hope you have got an idea uh, pdf link of the sample letters you will get in the uh, description box you can go there but even after that i would suggest that you must practice at least write four five six letters before the actual examination you can write i exam b platforms provide mock tests for uh, descriptive mock tests so they are actually you can write the whole test where you have to write two essays and one letter and then after that uh, whatever mistakes you are making i exam b expert faculty actually evaluate your paper and then you come to know about the weaknesses and accordingly you can work on that so uh, i would definitely advise you to write these mock tests because there are uh, actually lot of scope is there for improvement and actually your scope, uh, your uh, marks improve so uh, there are five mock tests when you write the first mock test and when you write the fifth mock test you yourself will see the sea of difference in your performance and you will avoid making the mistakes in your actual exam quickly let us see the memory based paper so these are these were the letter topics asked in april 2022 exam so you can see here first is first was a complaint letter you are the manager of an it company so here you are representing a an it company you are the manager and you have received defective computer systems so you have to write a complaint letter to the supplier company okay your order was delivered way after the promised delivery date write a complaint letter again a complaint letter and third is write a letter of appreciation and gratitude to the government so these three were um, these three were, uh, were asked asked and you had to choose one and write on any one write any one letter okay so in 2016 in the first shift write a letter to consumer forum requesting to expedite redressal for a digital camera you have ordered online so it is also a sort of complaint only uh, because you are writing uh, to a uh, to the consumer forum and then second one was write a letter to a bank's branch manager to complain about rude behavior of bank employee office branch okay so it seems that uh, it is complaint letters are their favorite in the second shift 
here you can see you are planning to renovate your office write a letter to uh, the owner of a furniture shop asking for catalog and price list okay and second one was write a letter to the national highway authority of india about improper use of fund for the construction of national highway so quickly let us see the pattern you must be aware of the pattern only one phase written exam objective four sections and then descriptive paper in descriptive you have to write two essay and one letter 20 marks each 40 marks essay writing and letter writing 10 marks if you are able to follow what we have discussed in this session out of this 10 marks you will get at least 6 to 7 marks and which is going to be really helpful uh, see suppose your target score is 170 180 out of that Uh, in this 15 minute if you are able to fetch 6 to 7 marks that is going to be amazing also we are going to upload many videos for essay writing also for your ga section general awareness because many students are worried about general section and descriptive uh, test so for general awareness paper we are uploading every day uh, one ga series is going on our youtube ch channel also one more for your general awareness and descriptive paper because here banking financial and esi is there in both in both the papers so keeping that in mind we are uploading two videos there and also some more video videos we are going to upload for your essay writing so stay tuned if you are yet to subscribe the channel you please subscribe the channel share the video with your friends and if you think that it is helping you please press the like button last year also uh, we we provided you one video for important essay topics and out of that list which we provided you before the exam actually four essay topics were there in the actual exam from our uh, list of important essay topics this year also we have already uploaded that video so you will get the playlist link in the description box uh, please go through that you will get many many useful videos for your sitb exam need guidance for your preparation we have our online courses you can see you can pause the uh, video and you can see the faculty so you can see dr sanjeev sharma is there for your descriptive english you can pause the video and see the details at one single platform it is very difficult to get such uh, faculty uh, group of faculty who themselves have cleared these kinds of exams so you will get the right guidance here these are our successful candidates uh, the, all of them wrote sidb exam in april 2022 and they are now working with sidb for any further query you can you may call at 9205524028 or you may write to us at hello@icandy.com at thank you friends thanks for watching